Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, this is a tips and tricks video. A lot of uh, questions over time. And this is a video that I've done, but in previous versions where it was a little different. Uh, so if you ever ask me, uh, because he's seen that my pinned apps is bigger, my recommended section is small, shows nothing. And he knows that we can't remove recommended which is, I still think, very dumb out of Microsoft not giving us this ability. But um, he's interested in having more pinned apps. So uh, two things to know about this. First, you can go and tweak the Start menu in Windows 11. If you go to the Start, go to the Settings, in the Settings, you will go into Personalization on the left side. Here, you will go into Start. Here you'll see three examples on the top of your screen. More pins, the default, which is what Windows 11 is all about, or more recommendations. And for a lot of people, more pins is better, but at least you know you got the three choices here. So just select the one you want, more pins, and in this case, and um, that will be the default screen or start screen that you have. But even better, is that you can also, and don't forget, put apps together. So if you have several apps that could go into a folder, when you combine them one over the other, they actually become a folder. And that folder can be renamed. You can edit name. So don't forget that that is something you can definitely do. Uh, and that means that not only can you have a lot of pinned apps, but you can have, can have folders with, um, you know, a series of pinned apps. For example, if you have Microsoft Office, you have Microsoft Office apps in one folder called Office, things like that. So whatever you're doing, you can have a lot of these right there. So you don't need to go into all apps anymore or anything. Uh, and remember that if you want to have a app pinned here, you can go check all apps. You choose an app. So, for example, Audacity, I use it a lot. You can right-click on it and pin to start. And that means that now it will show up as a pinned app. So you can do all of that. And if you want to remove one, you can right-click on it and say unpin from start. So these are all little things that you can customize your start menu with. So if you don't like the new start menu and the way that it is, you can at least customize it in a certain way that maybe it will be more pleasant and easier for you. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.